Hi, good morning. What's up, Internet? I'm Christiane Cordero, and this is the 734 from WCCO. We know most of you are on your way to work, maybe about to head out the door, so grab your coat and let's get you started with today's weather. It was uh, probably the chilliest that I have felt all season, uh, all year so far this morning when I was out for my live shots in the low 20s, and then we're going to creep on up to low 30s later today. And then... We have that four letter word. There it is. First snow call, snowfall forecast, I think, of the season. Um, yep, Katie Steiner confirms Minneapolis overnight. We're expecting half an inch. And then she says that most of the snow will be uh, concentrated in the south towards Rochester. You could see a, about two and a half inches there. So uh, get ready. It's here. All right, now let's talk about this. Where do you do your online, your banking? Not your, not necessarily your online banking because we're talking about online banks versus traditional banks. Online banks are growing in popularity. Those are companies like Ally or Marcus. Instead of going to your branch or your ATM to take care of your banking needs, you can do everything. Hint, hint, online. That's the idea that made these types of banks popular. They don't have to pay for the operation as much, so they pay you in that high yield. They can offer interest rates on savings accounts at 20 times the national average. Financial experts warn that there's no guarantee the rates will stay that way. So we want to know, what do you think? Would you try an online-only bank? Do you already have an account, a uh, savings account through one of those? Or do you prefer to stick with the traditional branch? Most people who do prefer the traditional route like that person-to-person -person interaction. Um, so let us know. Those watching on Facebook, leave a comment right here, and we'll get through a few of those in a moment. All right, in the news this morning... Polls are open for today's election. Several cities are voting for city and school board positions. More than 70 school districts are asking voters to approve operating levies or bond referendums. In St. Paul, neighbors will take up the city's garbage collection debate and referendum. Polls are open until 8 p.m. And since the ballots are smaller, you may be voting in a different place than your normal polling place. So we have a helpful link up at WCCO.com. Take a look there. The latest chapter in the Water Gremlin saga continues today with employees back to work. We saw a line of employees walk into work around 6.15 this morning. The state says the manufacturing plant is responsible for lead poisoning in a dozen children. Last week, a judge ruled the White Bear Township facility needed to be cleaned and workers had to be retrained on lead safety. With snow in the forecast, school districts are thinking about snow days. That usually means a day without schoolwork, but kids, times are changing. Eden Prairie is one of the latest districts to consider online snow days. The first snow day is a freebie, and then anything after that involves e-learning. On a snow day, assignments will be posted online by 9.30 a.m. Most parents and students we talked with said it's fair. Last year we had a lot of snow days, so I think it would be valuable for them to actually do something when they're at home. Maddie, what do you think? I agree. Yeah. See, yeah, she agrees as well. I'd like to have relaxed days, but it makes sense because some of the classes we do tend to fall behind with the snow days. Did Maddie agree? We'll never know. E-learning isn't possible for every school district we should mention. In Minneapolis, for example, internet access isn't available to some students outside of school. In Eden Prairie, students can check out Wi-Fi hotspots if they need to. There's a unique site if you drive by Bailey Elementary School in Woodbury this morning. Yep, there it is. There's a tent on the roof, and inside is the principal. Candy Graham is staying up there after her students raised nearly $15,000 during their readathon. That's great, and we definitely talked about that, but we also had to ask her, of course, about the weather. I am staying warm. I got my nice jacket. I've got some, um, a good sleeping bag and some blankets, and once I'm inside the tent and tuck, tucked in, I'm not cold at all. Principal Graham enjoyed a pizza dinner on the roof with some teachers and then read her students a bedtime story using Facebook Live. Minnesota lawmakers are looking at legalizing recreational marijuana. So naturally, WCCO traveled to Colorado to see how that could impact our safety on the roads. We put driving while high to the test. WCCO's Jennifer Mayerly asked three volunteer drivers to smoke pot and then get behind the wheel. It was in a secure location supervised by driving pros and medical staff. The driving test showed how pot altered driving behavior. It impacted speed, reaction time, control, and judgment. I feel really peppy, like I just want to, <laughs> yeah. Had I been drinking a big gulp or something with some of you, it would have been all over my lap. Tonight on WCCO News at 10, a closer look at the challenges state troopers will face years after Colorado legalized pot. 
Popeye's chicken sandwich has made a lot of headlines lately, but this one is really hard to understand. A fight over the sandwich cost a man his life. Police say a man was stabbed to death after an argument at a Popeye's in Maryland last night. Police believe the argument began over someone cutting in line. They say the confrontation spilled out into the street where the victim was stabbed. He later died at the hospital. Police are asking the suspect to turn himself in. An experiment in Microsoft in Japan is getting attention after some unexpected results. For the, for the month of August, employees worked a four-day work week and were urged to cut down the time they spent on emails and in meetings. While the time spent at work went down, productivity, get this, went up 40%. So if you're going to work right now, just go back home, say Japan was doing it, and it's just fine. All right, to Silicon Valley now. Facebook has a colorful new logo, and it is all caps. You have to say caps with an exclamation point because it's all caps. Yep, there it is. The new logo changes between blue, green, hues of purple, red, orange. It's a nod to its other apps, blue for Facebook, green for WhatsApp, red, and orange for Instagram. The company says it's making the change to differentiate between Facebook as a parent company and the actual Facebook app. The app will still keep its own look with that lowercase font. A 98-year-old woman in Glenwood is leading the way on a really simple message. Be kind. Margaret Peterson is from Minnewaska High School in south of Alexandria. Students came together to help her knit a Be Kind chain that's about a mile long. And it's led to a chain reaction of good acts around their school. We probably haven't done a very good job as seniors to give them what they should have gotten from us. So let's start right now. Don't wait a minute longer. To work with all of our kids from our kindergartners all the way up to our football team and to make an impact with all of them is a pretty incredible deal. Margaret's message has spread to dozens of states and a few countries. You can hear more from her on our website at WCCO.com. Here's something you don't see every day. A rare albino deer was caught on camera in northern Wisconsin. Dan Mortensen was driving around on Middle Mackenzie Lake near Spooner when he saw it. It's like magical. Morton says, Mortensen says that he spoke with a few people and was told it's about 10 years old and is a treasured animal in that area. Researchers say only one in 30,000 wild animals are albino. Wisconsin DNR says that these are illegal to shoot. Back to today's talker. Let's bring in WCCO's digital guy, Cole. Cole, what are people saying about their bank? Where are they going? Do they trust the interwebs? Of, we don't have a whole lot of love for online banks. No, okay. In the comments. We got Nancy saying preference is a credit union and not a bank and not online. Mm -hmm. And yes, big difference between credit and online. Uh, we have Leon saying my dog would not like it. He loves his treats at the drive up window. <laughs> And we have Becca saying, no, thank you. I want to be able to walk into a bank and talk to someone if I need to. Yeah. And we have my dad saying, uh, hometown banking is good. They know me and I know them. Mm, yeah. yeah, Mr. Primo, appreciate that. Yeah, um, yeah that, is, that is the main benefit of going to a traditional bank, right, is you can actually have a conversation with somebody when yeah. you think of some of the things you need to finance. It's sometimes it's hard to make that leap. But gotcha. if you are looking for a higher yield, then, hey, there's some, some money benefits, to earn there. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Cole. Thank Appreciate you. it. That's it for now. This is the 734 from WCCO. And most of the Twin Cities are on the go. So why not make us your place for mobile news? We'll be back here tomorrow at 734. And until then, be nice to each other on the Internet.